Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my mask that I used up during the month of March. Yeah, I know. It's almost the end of April and I'm just now getting to my March mask empties. But I still wanted to share with you what I used up during the month of March. And then here in just a few days or a week, I'll be showing you what I used during the month of April. So let's get started so the first thing I have is from the brand 23 years old and I have a rose gold 24 mask and this one is a mask that is um, a full face mask and what I mean by full face mask whoop, and this is what the packaging looks like is that it is all the way from here all the way to down to about here here and um, it does have eye holes but it does not have a mouth hole so um, you definitely can't do any talking or any sipping of anything while you have this on I personally do not like that so I always tear um, oh and it has a nose hole of course because you got to be able to breathe but I'm a mouth breather so I have to tear a mouth piece in there <laughs> anyway um, it's very hydrating it smells good which I like anything that's rose um, it's supposed to be very lifting because and it's supposed to help with the neck and just the whole face um, it's very um, firming and lifting I like to leave this one on when I use these I have a couple more I like to leave them on for a very um, good 30 minutes so I'm really getting the full effect of them. So I use these um, at night. And um, let's see, it's supposed to be dry skin problems. Um, has the rose, canna, fruit oil, and gold in it. So, but anyways, I do like these. And I can't remember if I got these off of Wish Trend or off of Soko Glam. I can't remember what, what ribs website it was one of those two but anyway I did have one of those I also have this one from Shiseido in here this is a very luxurious um, sheet mask it's very very hydrating definitely for um, dry skin super dry skin if you have oily skin of any kind this mask is not for you um, this is one of the type of mask um, that after you use it you can definitely use what's left in here on the sheet three or four nights as just a moisturizer because it definitely has a lot of oil in it and it is so hydrating it is just it's very nice but they're they are so expensive so expensive they equal to be about around 20 to 23 dollars a piece which is, yeah, very expensive, um, definitely a, a luxury, a special treat. I think I have a couple more of these that came in a box, and um, I like them, especially for hydrating. It's the Bene Benefique Advanced Mask, and if it was just a one-time use, I definitely would not be impressed with it, but because I can use it for at least a full week afterwards as far as just you know I keep it in a plastic bag I just put this into a baggie beside my bed and close it up and then each night after I've done all of my skincare I will put this dip my fingers in and just squeeze it like this and then I just put it all over the face and then it's my moisturizer for the night an extra additional kind of like a sleeping mask and it just feels so good it's so hydrating then from Mediheal, I use um, the Whitening White Hydrating Black Max EX. Um, it's for just hydrating, white hydrating power. Did enjoy this, which the Mediheal um, line of sheet masks are really good. You can get these on um, Hot Look, on Amazon, probably even on um, eBay. Not really for sure, but I definitely have seen these on. Hot Look. Hot Look's a really good place that you can get uh, Mediheal. The Mediheal brand as a whole for sheet mask is really good. Um, when you get them on Hot Look, you can get them for about 2 to $3 a piece. Very good. 
And then I had some sheet mask that I did not like that I wanted to use up. So I just bit the bullet and just used them all so I didn't have to spread them out over a course of three or four months. And that's these from Tony Moly. Um, the Love You. It was the, it was uh, the My Shea sheet mask from a Christmas, not last year, but the year before. I bought them after Christmas on clearance. They look like this. Had really, really cute packaging. And I really thought that they would be good because they were Tony Moly, but these were absolute duds. I did not like these. I use these in the morning, every morning as my morning skin skincare routine. So I only left these on for about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, which was fine with me because they, they really weren't that good. So I didn't mind leaving them on for a short amount of time. Where most of my sheet masks, I like to leave them on for minimally 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. These 10, 15 minutes max. <laughs> so anyway, I used um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 of those. So I was, and that was like 11 mornings in a row. I suffered through these, but I got rid of them. They're done, they're out of my collection and I would never ever purchase these ever again. I did not like them. And I really think that these may have been part of my skin issues that I've been having. I've been having a lot of um, breakouts and I've never ever, ever had in my entire life, but anyway. That's a whole other story. And then another mask that I don't, I didn't like, and I had several of these in my collection. I thought I had already used them all, but I found another one. It's from Origins, and it was their Flower Fusion line. And this one was in orange, and I came across another one of those. So I threw that in there and used it. If you see these, I found these at Nordstrom Rack. They weren't that good. There was orange, there was raspberry, there was rose, and I really thought I would like the rose because I like all rose sheet masks. Well, I can't say that now because I did not like these at all. They didn't fit well on the face. They didn't stay, and they just weren't good. And anyway, I, I would suggest that if you see these like at Nordstrom Rack or TJ Maxx, or any place like that, to just pass on those because they're, they're not good. Now this one from Naster, if you do see these, um, Naster as a brand as a whole is very good. So if you see these like on Hot Look and you've been wanting to um, try some sheet masks, Naster, you can't go wrong with those. They are all um, good sheet masks. I have tried, I think just about all of the ones that they offer and they're all very good. But this one's Tea Tree which is very good for irritated skin that's inflamed, irritated. Tea tree is really good for calming and soothing the skin. It's also good for acne. So I um, had one of those that I used, and I do recommend that you have a tea tree mask in your arsenal at all times, just for those occasions when you do have some stuff going on. And then I had some of the Tony Moly I'm Real sheet masks that were in my collection that I went ahead and pulled out and I just went ahead and used up all the ones, different ones that I had. Um, these are okay. You can get these at Ulta and they have them on sale quite often. If you're wanting to dip your toes into sheet masking, this would possibly be a, a good way to start um, being that they're readily available and you can go in and pick them up at Ulta if you're not comfortable with you know purchasing your sheet mask online um, but you can definitely get some sheet masks that are better from um, Hot Look from the Korean um, skincare brands that are offered on Hot Look as opposed to these, but anyway, I did use them. Um, I'm not going to repurchase these. Um, I'm going to stick with getting my sheet mask, I think, from Hot Look and um, different places like that. But anyway, I have the aloe one that I used. It was hydrating. Then I have the wine. I liked the smell of this one. This one smelled really good. It smelled like grapes. 
then I have the pearl and then I have another wine and I never know how to say this one it's the Magoli I don't know how to say that you can see it right there well maybe anyway I have that one that I used I've had another one right here of that one <laughs> yeah then I had a cactus one packaging on these are really really cute and they run anywhere I think like three dollars five dollars but you can get a good deal on them when they're on sale and then the rice I really like using rice sheet masks because they're really good for brightening and then the rose and it didn't really have a rose scent to it so that was a little disappointing but anyway so that is my sheet mask that I use for the month of um, March and so let's count a total I had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three 24 25 total that I used up for the month of March so pretty good um, for getting those out of my stash my goal is to completely use up all of my sheet masks that are in my stash this year I haven't purchased any new sheet mask um, this year so anyway I still have quite a few to go so <laughs> I'm looking at I thought maybe I would be done with my sheet mask collection by June but I'm thinking it's more going to be like maybe August or September now but anyway that's okay so anyway thank you so much for joining me today I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon